Hey everyone, you are Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. We are in our Tesla Model 3 Performance here in Sydney, Australia, reviewing software update 2022.4. This is the first 2022 release here for our Tesla Model 3. So I'm super excited to show you what is in store today. So let's have a look. So 2022.4, regenerative braking in autopilot, autopilot improvements, that's the subcategory. Regenerative braking in autopilot. Autopilot will now use more regenerative braking at low speeds for higher efficiency and an improved driving experience, especially in stop and go traffic. Increased use of regenerative braking results in less brake pedal noise and smoother stops. So that's super exciting. That's something I've seen online in the last few days. So uh, very, very interested to see how this works in the real world. All right, without further ado, let's go check out this software update with an autopilot test drive on our local roads here in Sydney. I'll of course try to pick a busy urban road so we can uh, experience some stop start traffic and see how well regen braking works in autopilot. Let's go check it out. All right, welcome back everyone. We're about to turn out onto a major road. It's currently 9.28 here in Sydney on a Friday morning, so we should get a little bit of traffic on our roads here. So it'll be a good chance to test out um, urban autopilot, I guess, and see whether that regen braking update for this 2020 sorry, 2022.4 software update has made a difference at all to the driving quality. And uh, with autopilot, you can see, well, with regen braking, you can see uh, how much regen braking is occurring up here. If it's in the green, it means it's regen. If it's in the black, uh, it's just uh, normal braking. Or rather, there's power uh, being distributed to the wheels from the car, rather than the other way around. Of course, I can't, I suppose I can't convey how much regen force is coming through in these videos. I just, you're just gonna have to trust me uh, with my descriptions. And uh, so let's engage autopilot right now. Once I change lanes, let's do that right now with a double tap of the right stalk. Here we go. That familiar chime, double chime. And uh, we've got it on 70 kilometers an hour max speed just to match the posted speed sign. Uh, again, I've got full self-driving package. I'll just show you what the settings are. Uh, we've got auto steer beta, navigate on autopilot beta, which we probably won't use today. Uh, we do have the automatic lane change, which is probably, I think, personally the best feature of, um, of uh, the FSD package currently in Australia. We've got the uh, light, traffic light stop sign control and full self driving visualization preview. And uh, I'll put on the rear and side repeater cameras for you guys. There you go. You might have seen that when I was turning left, the blind spot monitoring was still in that corner here. Um, hasn't moved too much. Has the speedometer font size changed? Maybe I'm just getting used to it. <laughs> Maybe it appears bigger now, I don't know. Uh, let me just match the speed limit, by the way, just the right stalk tap down like that. And that'll see that number turn from 70 to 80 to match the posted speed sign. Yeah, so I don't know. I think, I think just because I'm getting used to the fact that uh, the font is now small, I don't think there's much difference at all. That's probably the biggest complaint from this version 11 update. Uh, by the way, if you've got the side repeater cameras on, then uh, the blind spot monitor won't come on when you change lanes. Uh, I'll just show you one second once the uh, truck next to me passes. Or oh, I probably will pass it because I've got more power climbing this hill. Look at that car in front of me with all that emission coming out of it. Isn't that disgusting? It just sickens me how much how much stuff comes out of cars, right? Like, look at that, honestly. I mean, they can't see it. And look how much tar is coming out. My goodness, that can't be good for our health. And this is why we need to uh, accelerate the transition to electric vehicles. I mean, they're sitting in that car, they cannot see that stuff coming out of the back of their car, but that's what happens to all these vehicles. Anyway, that's my uh, soapbox for today. Uh, not particularly blaming, blaming that car, it's just, a generational thing that needs to happen. We need to switch over to EVs sooner rather than later. Look at that, threading the needle between these two vehicles here, bus on my left, the smoky car on the right. Okay, so uh, just coming up to this red light. And of course, we've got the FSD package, so that means that um, it'll stop at a red light if you're the second and subsequent cars in the line of cars. 
All right, so I guess now's a good a time as any to test the regen braking on autopilot. And uh, yeah, like I said, a bit of stop start traffic today. And um, I'm gonna try and swerve, not swerve, like I wanna try and go to the right. Let's see what happens. Does it, no, I'm just gonna disengage autopilot there because I want to go right. Um, and it's very hard at a fork in the road. Autopilot doesn't know what to do, obviously, because it's not navigate, it's just basic autopilot. So that's when you've got to disengage. Let's see what happens here with this truck scooting out into my lane. What happens? Yeah, yeah, there's a bit of regen there. I, guess I felt that. Normally it would probably just hard brake, but today I could, I could feel the car grabbing as it used regen braking when that car scooted out or the truck scooted out. So that's good, that's a nice test there. And uh, you probably saw a bit of green as well. Uh, that green bar there going left means there's uh, regen braking. Okay, let's uh, re-engage autopilot, double tap with the stalk down like that. Again, when you, when you see black, that means there's power coming from the battery to the uh, to the motor, to the wheels. When it goes green, that means it's regen braking. Uh, the kinetic energy is going back to the um, back to the uh, battery. Let's see what happens at a traffic light. Lots of green. Is the braking smoother? Yeah. Well, I mean, the light turned green, but at that point, driving up to the traffic light, uh, there certainly was some regen braking. I could feel that, and that's nice. That's finally happening on autopilot. I think previously it was sort of, it would sort of like, it wouldn't regen, but it would slow down, yes, but then it would like sort of bang, stop at the very last minute. So I guess we need to test that at a traffic light again uh, when we're the first car, even if we're the subsequent car in a line of cars, uh, we'll see what happens. Does the car smoothly slow down rather than just stopping quite harshly? So here we go. Hopefully we get a red light. I can't believe I'm saying this. I want a red light. No, don't cut into my lane. Good, okay. Here we go, here we go. Let's see what happens. At a red light, regen, regen, regen. Nice, nice, that was really good. You saw the green pop up as well. So that was really good, really nice test there. And again, I can't, I can't sort of, there's no metric to show you apart from the green bar, but I personally could feel the fact that it was slowing down really smoothly with that regen braking. So, you know, yeah, good. I'd say the test was passed with that light. Let's see what happens with this light here. Okay, now it's turned green, but that definitely felt a lot better that time. Um, again, because I'm the first car, I'm gonna to have to confirm with my accelerator. You can also confirm with uh, the ride stalk as well as you drive up to a green light, being the first car on the FSD package. Uh, we'll test some lane change now. So let's take off the side repeaters. Let's change lanes to the left. Very nicely done, good. Again, see that blind spot wanted to come up when uh, you're the, um, when you've got the side repeaters off. So uh, I can't believe I'm saying this as well, but we will try to um, find some traffic today to uh, test this uh, regen autopilot braking uh, in stop start traffic. Let's see what happens today. So coming up to a red, red light again and Again, nice and smooth, nice. Yeah, not doing anything. As you see, my hands are just off the wheel there. Legs are off the pedals, or leg is off the pedal. My left leg is resting on the footrest. But yeah, that was really nice. Normally in the past, with before this update, it would just go boom, like a hard stop, but that's, uh, that's nice. It's finally happening, that autopilot regen braking. And that's got to save, uh, save wear and tear on the uh, brake pads, right? Uh, because we know we're obviously trying to drive more and more on autopilot these days and uh, having regen braking makes a big difference. All right, let's take off autopilot just for a second while I uh, change lanes. Sorry, while I, while I turn left. Sorry, it's, sometimes I might say the wrong thing. Uh, it's, it is hard to talk and drive at the same time. I try and do my best to give a blow by blow commentary as to what's happening on the road. I know blow is probably the wrong word to use. Uh, Turn by turn, maybe turn by turn commentary of what's happening. Now, um, with the blind spot monitor, it's still in that position. Uh, if I'm looking straight ahead, my hands here on the wheel at nine and three, which I think professional drivers try to recommend now, it is blocking that monitor, probably about 30% of the blind spot monitor. Um, and even more so when I'm turning right, because I'm looking this way. Um, if I'm looking this way, then yeah, I'd have probably zero chance of, almost zero chance of seeing it. Uh, one thing I do want to test is whether 
when I'm changing lanes, when the blind spot monitor comes up, whether the, um, what do you call it, the uh, autopilot graphic uh, goes up, because it was sort of being blocked by the blind spot monitor before. So let's put autopilot back on, and we'll try to do a lane change uh, with, with the monitor. Let's see whether the graphic moves up. Let's see whether Tesla listened to any of our feedback. I think the font is bigger, maybe slightly, slightly bigger. Again, not sure whether I'm because I'm used to it. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's do a lane change. No, it's still blocked, as you can see, unfortunately. Okay, so the car cancelled the lane change for me because there was a car right there on my right. There's the Porsche dealership. There are some charges there. I can see it right there, actually. Some DC charges. I haven't had the guts to go in there with a the Tesla yet, but um, don't know whether it's just for Porsche. I'm going to have to speak to a uh, Porsche driver a Porsche Taycan driver here in Sydney. Maybe if you're a Taycan driver in Sydney, let me know. Do you need to have a Porsche account to access it? Or is it just free for all where anybody can just pay for the charging? I wouldn't mind knowing that information before I go in there and test it out for myself. Okay, so yeah, I think honestly, you know, I think, I think it's past the test today. There's been a lot more region breaking just with traffic around me. And uh, yeah, pretty happy so far. I might just do a lane change now. It's pretty good there, a bit of clearance behind me with that Mercedes that I passed in front of. We might actually go into um, Crow's Nest. There's often a bit of traffic in there to see whether uh, this autopilot region braking is working well today. Okay, let's uh, put autopilot back on. Yep, see it automatically match the speed limit down to 50. Oh my goodness, that was close to that curve. I'm sorry, I had to disengage there because that was coming really close to that curb. I do not want to have curb rash uh, live for you guys. It's just not something I want to do. But that was getting very close to um, the, my wheels there. So again, coming up to a traffic light. That nice, smooth regen braking. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Tesla. Thank you, Elon Musk. Uh, I was getting a little bit tired of that harsh braking before, but it's so good now. That regen braking on autopilot makes all the difference. It just feels like, you know, how I would drive in a Tesla. Wow. A lot of warning, sir. Uh, yeah, I guess when two lanes become one, it uh, wasn't happy. Let's put it back on. Um, so, yeah, coming up to another traffic light with a bit of stop start again. Let's see what happens here. Uh, this is a speed camera, by the way. So, let's see what happens. Yeah. Thankfully, we've got the red light detection, so it does stop very nicely. And again, that nice, smooth regen braking coming to a stop at a red light. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. Sorry, I can't, I can't express my happiness anymore um, because there's no metric to tell you how much regen braking is happening, but you're going to have to trust my feelings and trust my uh, commentary that it is working really nicely. All right, so still on AP and uh, the lane markings aren't great here in Crow's Nest because there's cars parked on the side. Let's see what happens. Uh, pedestrians, it slows down for the pedestrians. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I'm just taking control a little bit because there's a chicane there or an island there. I don't want the car to hit it. Alrighty guys, well, uh, you know what? Again, nice smooth stop, red light. I might end the video there. You've seen enough examples of the autopilot regen braking in action. I might turn right here go back home but uh, yeah I'm pretty happy uh, with this update the first 2022 update uh, for this year and it's it's a good one it's a really good one it's not a bug fix or performance update it's just you know something we've been asking for regen braking on autopilot and with that in mind I think I will probably use autopilot more often now uh, because that was probably a big complaint previously and, and also for the family they weren't happy as a passenger uh, you know, having that harsh uh, braking on autopilot. So I've actually, you know, with the family in the car, I'd had had to stop using autopilot because of that uh, harsh braking. But now I think I might use them more, or at least I'll test it now, having that feature. All right, everyone, uh, that's for me. That's it for me today, uh, Tesla Tom, with uh, today's update. Uh, if you've got this update in your neck of the woods and you've tried it out and you and you like it, let me know how you went. Are you happy with the regen braking autopilot now? Uh, are there any other features you've noticed uh, in this update that has improved? Um, leave that in the comment section below. 
Anything else I've missed, leave that as well. I'll test it in the next uh, dot update, next bug fix update. Otherwise, uh, stay safe, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Until the next one, happy charging.